to take BR for doing the bromination, you take BR to an SNU. BR to an SNU, BR to an SNU, okay? Yeah. And there is one more isomer Z. Okay. That gives only three monogramal derivatives. Monogromo derivative, I hope it is clear. Yeah, it's just a carbon chain with one bromo like attached. Yeah, yeah. You replace out of these five C5H12, five you replace uh, uh, one hydrogen by bromine, right? Yes. So that is a monobromo derivative. Okay. okay. And uh, so tell me, uh, what what is the name of uh, are you uh, what is the name of uh, uh, X, Y, and Z? Are you present in? Mm, okay. Yeah, it must be like a uh, like tertiary. Uh, Yeah. yeah, like tertiary pentane, uh, pentane with like bromo group attached X. Yeah, so X is, yeah, what's the, what's the IUPC name? Yeah, 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 I'm getting your point. You are thinking in the right direction. Okay, yes. good. So, but you need to be very precise. You need to tell me the name. Okay, the name will be, wait, let me just draw the structure. Okay. Hmm. Yes, Something, be, some sort yeah, of term. Right of the five carbon atom. Yes, yes. Okay. So maybe maybe this one is it? Yes, yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So yeah. So you are in the right direction, but uh, tell me the name of the common name as well as uh, IUPAC name. Uh, okay, IUPAC name would be. Uh, 2,2-dimethylpropane. 2,2-dimethylpropane. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I, Very good. Yes. The common name is? Uh, oh, yeah. Neopentane. Yes. yes, yes. Neopentane. Good. Okay. So, and... Uh, if you have BR2 and H2. So you uh, where should I put the BR? Yeah, anywhere on the outer carbon. Outer be the carbon, same. yeah. Which one? Upper one, right one, left one. Yeah, all will be same. Left, right. Yeah, all are same. Very good. That's yeah. the key point. Okay. Yeah. Because that's where the every but and you are familiar with the bond line representation. Yeah, uh, bond line, yes. Okay, good, very good. So this is so this is neopentane and that is neopentyl bromide. Neo means if you have a second last carbon, you have two methyl groups. That is neo. That's a common name. Okay. 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 So yes. Okay, so this is one bromo two two dimethyl propane. Yes. So this is X. So what should be Y and Z? Um. Yeah. Okay, so oh why might be uh like two yeah two dimethyl uh actually this why question came in J advanced uh, one time and later it was asked in J means two oh, times. Okay. So this is a question which is the 
very important question okay yes yes and there are other questions which arise from this okay yeah the why is it a like two dimethyl sorry two methyl butane is that it? why is uh, uh, two methyl butane very good okay yeah so we are to ask you right yes and okay so <coughs> sorry how you how you identified that it is going to be having four different uh... yeah just like uh, putting it and then checking like where all i can put br for different name yeah. yeah but this one and this one are same right these two methyl yes yeah yeah okay because they are identical uh, yeah. yeah so yeah i can uh, so i am having this as one of the product right so okay yeah what's the common name of this alkene common name uh, i can put here also there is one br okay i can put one br at this point yeah yes so what's the so these are all the products okay yeah yeah so this is isopentane oh yeah isopentane yes and the question okay so let me complete the the, the upper part also the z is going to be the normal pentane okay right yes so normal pentane is going to give you three isomers mono bromo derivatives right yeah so to to one bromo two bromo three bromo okay yeah okay so these are the three isomers this is going to be x yeah and uh, uh this is going to be y and this is going to be uh, or z okay okay right yeah, yeah so uh, yeah the question which came is so how many isomers in so these are the structural isomers yes okay okay that's a very important yeah. so how okay. many isomers will you get uh, yeah, yeah you have uh, how many isomer you are going to get if you if you consider the optical isomers that's what the question uh, that actual question from the j okay Hmm. so you have all the structural isomers in front of you yeah. the part yeah. of it you have already done 
Okay, so optical isomers are like what? How many? If you, how many total number of isomers, that means if you consider the optical isomers, how many are going to be? Uh, optical isomer means what? Uh, to, no, total isomer including the stereo isomers or the optical isomers. Okay. Total, if it is written, uh, you can consider both, okay, total. You're going for mains or advanced? Uh, yeah, I will try, I first I'll try passing mains then advanced. Okay, good, 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 good. Yeah, right. total mono, bromo, derivatives. Okay, okay. including optical isolates. Yeah. This is going to be the next question. Okay. So you have done part two. Uh, so structural isomers you have already told me. Yes. Now you need to find out that how many of them are optically active. And accordingly you need to Take your decision. Okay. Uh, how do you find if a compound is optically active? Uh, so the shortcut method is to have a chiral carbon. Oh, okay. So if it has a chiral carbon, it is uh, optically active. Yeah. Okay, okay. So which one of them will be optically active? Uh, wait, let me see. Yeah, uh, it's only one of them, right? The second one. That... Uh, the second structural iso. This is going to be optically, first one is going to be optically active or not? No, no, not first one. No. Uh, actually, this is, this is the one which everybody goes wrong, where everybody goes wrong. This is going to be optically active. Oh, okay. Why? Uh, yeah, no idea, no. Yeah, tell me. Hmm. Uh, where is the chiral carbon? Oh, well, it's uh, that the point where the three uh, lines are drawn, like the bond line. Yeah, yeah. It's, okay, this is the chiral carbon, right? Yes. So this is going to be two. Got it? Wait, two as in me? Meaning? Uh, two mirror image isomers. Oh, okay. 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 Let me show you. Okay. So parallel carbon will exist in a pair. Okay. Okay. So there can be two 3D arrangements or a single parallel carbon. Right, and okay, if, okay. It is, if it is the molecule, the chiral line you need to consider two different cases. Yeah. Okay, so you can see this. This is the chiral carbon. Okay? Oh, okay. Yes. So this yeah. one and this is also same. They are actually there is no connection wise. There is no difference. You can see the bonds are same exactly. Yes. Yes. But still the molecules are different because you can't superimpose them. Oh, okay. 
Okay. If I try to superimpose red, I have a problem with the blue and yellow. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes. Oh, okay. So chiral carbon is actually four groups have different three arrangement, as you can see. And there is a difference yes. in arrangement. One is clockwise, another one is anti-clockwise. Okay. Yes, yes, yeah. So this is only because they are chiral, but if any two groups become same, then it is not the chiral carbon. Then you can superimpose on them very easily. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so that's why we need to consider it as a pair too. Okay, okay. two, okay, okay. So I hope you understood this. Yeah, I got it, got it. And what about this one? Yeah, that also should have. No, no, that doesn't have. That's not chiral. No. Two methyl groups are attached. Yeah, it's going to be one. Yeah, one, two methyl groups. Yeah. And what about this one, next one? So this is going to be one, just uh, no, no, yes, mirror, one. no different image. No different mirror image. Yes. Uh, yeah, this one, yeah, two, two are the mirror nails there. Uh, yeah, and this one is how many chiral carbon? Two, two, right? Like, no, one, one chiral carbon, yeah. At no, how many? The yeah, one. You need, yeah, you need to be very careful. Yeah, so this is one chiral carbon, that's it. Yes, yeah. Okay, okay. Okay, and uh, this one. Uh, what about so this is going to be two, not one. Yeah, so I'm by mistake I've written. And what okay, about this okay. one? Is there any chiral carbon in this? Let me see. Is okay. Is that one? Uh, yeah, I think there is. I think. Yeah. yeah. Is there a chiral carbon in this last one? Yes or no? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Where? Where? Where is it? Uh, like after. Uh, yeah, there. Yeah, two, two, two. At two. Who is not a chiral carbon? Because you already have two hydrogen attached. Oh yes, oh yeah, yes. Okay, okay. Yeah, so two is not all good. all four, so no chiral carbon. Here you have yeah, one no chiral carbon. Yeah, but two methyl groups are same. Yes, yes. Okay, so this yeah, is so going one, to, one. Yeah. It's okay. going to be just one. The total how many? So total it will be including six. optical isomers, including optical yeah. isomers. Six, uh, right. And if they ask you how many of them are optically active, then, uh, yeah, the two of them are optically active. How many total two, number two. of optically active isomers? Four. Okay, like that. Okay. Each one of them you should consider separately. Okay. Okay. Yes, got it. Hmm. So this is uh, uh, the photoallergenation, and there is one more point regarding the photoallergenation. Okay. And suppose uh, which is going to be the major product. Yeah, tell me. So, which is going to be the main product? 
the major part. So I'm not asking all the products. Yeah. I'm just asking you which is going to be the major product. Uh, it will be the one which is more stable. Yeah, actually, the one, uh, the uh, actually the hydrogen which is most easily abstractable, which is that will give the major product. Okay. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so I guess the carbon with least amount of hydrogen. Right. Uh, so, yeah, it is that uh, the second uh, structural isomer written at the top. Is that the major product? Uh, so, which one from this one? Okay. Yeah, this one. So, uh, the tertiary bromide. Yes, yeah. Oh, yeah, tertiary, okay. yeah. Tertiary hydrogen is actually most easily abstractable. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yes. Right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So actually the reactivity is like this tertiary, then secondary, then primary, then the hydrogen of methyl. Okay, and uh, okay. before that, you have that allylic and benzylic hydrogens. Okay. okay. Right. Yeah. So, uh, so suppose if you have uh, toluene. Yeah. Uh, it will, yeah, it forms uh, CH2Br, I think. Yeah, benzylic hydrogens are most active. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yes. Okay. So, So now tell me, um, this is, and suppose if you, if you do this PR2 heat high temperature, where it is going to end up? Yeah, it will be in the that allylic bond, right? The double bond, one of those carbon. Where it will be? Will it will it add on the double bond? Where? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, the double bond, right? No, that is if you put the bromine in high concentration, but if you have taken, if you would have taken heat and light, it will. It will break the bromine into radical. Oh, okay. Okay, and that radical is the, the, the bromine radical is very selective, highly selective. So okay. it is going to abstract the hydrogen, which is most easily abstracted. Right? Oh, okay. Yes. Clear? Yeah, yeah. Right. So. So that is the that is the point where the BR is going to get attached. Okay. 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 Yeah. Clear. Yes. Yes. And uh, 
So these are allylic positions. Allylic hydrogens are very very reactive. Okay. And if you want to compare the rate of halogenation uh, for fluorine, chlorine, bromine, and iodine with the same alkene. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Can you... uh, so, what's going to be the reactivity of rate of halogenation? If you take the if you take the same alkane, okay. okay. So if you but the same alkane is subjected to chlorination, bromination, iodination, and fluorination. Yeah. How will you uh, how will you think that uh, the rate is going to be high? For which one it is? Is the fluorination pass test or is the chlorination pass test? I uh, it should be the one which will easily get detached. Uh, yeah. Uh, Actually, the fluorination is highly uncontrollable, very okay. reactive. Then chlorination, bromination is very selective. Okay. And iodination has another problem. It is it is almost reverse means okay. it doesn't doesn't uh, moves ahead yeah, yeah so if you take iodine what is going to happen yeah reversible yeah ch3i yeah ch3i and excellent why I put this equation? Yeah, it's reversible. Yeah, so it is what? Yeah, reversible, yeah. Reversible, yeah. So most of it is going to remain as it is, right? Okay, yeah, yes. yes. So uh, iodination is reversible. It doesn't. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So how how do you prepare iodo with? Uh, increasing the power reaction rate. Yeah. Okay. Maybe removing one of the products. Yeah. So how will you do that? Uh, like maybe remove HI while it is being formed. Yeah, so how you take some oxidizing is it? Okay, okay. There are two methods. So either you take the okay. Uh, either you either you take the, either you do the oxi take the oxidizing agent and what are the oxidizing agents and how do they, do they help us to take push the reaction in the forward direction? Yeah. Mm. Uh, yeah. yeah, no idea. <laughs> Uh, 
Okay. Actually, the oxalizer is there. Oxalizer is there. Okay, okay. Okay. Yeah. So that's how you can take it in the forward direction. What's the other way? Mm. What's the other way by which you can uh, prepare alkyl iodides from alkyl chlorides? Oh, okay. Yeah. What you will do? So there is a name yeah, reaction. Oh yeah, it, yeah. It's uh, I think it's uh, Finkelstein reaction. Yeah, Finkelstein reaction. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. Uh, NaI. Yeah. And what's the so this is Finkelstein reaction and what's the name for that term? Uh, uh, what's the name for uh, the reaction for the preparation of fluoride? Fluoride. Uh, similar to Finkelstein. Yeah, I don't, don't know, don't know. Yeah, and that is you reacted with AGF or that is AGF is the most appropriate. That is Swartz reaction. Oh, Swartz reaction. Okay. Okay. So fluorine okay. initially don't carry out directly because it is exactly very difficult to control so okay. you prepare chlorine and bromine chlorides and bromide by photochlorination of bromination and then you do the reactive okay. with the okay so that is okay. so can you tell me what's the mechanism of this uh yeah homolysis right no this is not homolysis Oh, okay. Okay. This is uh, first of all. Tell me, uh, what name is this? Uh, is it uh, addition, elimination, rearrangement, uh, substitution? Uh, is it displacement? Yeah, it's displacement reaction. Very good. And which displacement? Okay. Substitution. Nucleophilic substitution. Okay. Nucle. Yeah. Okay. Nucleophilic substitution. Yeah. So which one? So nuclear file is RC. Right. SN2, yeah. Okay. SN2 reaction. Okay. Yeah. So this is uh, photoallogenation. You need to, but this is applicable only for aliphatic halides, not for aromatic. Oh, so okay. for so for aromatic, what's the mechanism? Yeah. Yeah. What's the mechanism? Mm. For aromatic, suppose if I want to do the chlorobenzene, if I want to prepare the chlorobenzene, what I need to take? Uh, okay. Actually, if I need to take Cl2, that's for sure. Because I need yes. to do the coordination. Yeah, yeah. But what 
What else? Yeah, then I guess HCL will be a product also. Yeah, HCL will be the byproduct. But how you are going to do that? Oh, by uh, HNU. No, actually, you don't use HNU. Okay. So, what you need? What you need to take? Oh, okay. The ALCL three also is. Yeah, ALCL three sim simply FE will also work. Okay. Okay, why FE will work? Uh, because FE and chlorine will uh, react with one another and they are going to form FeCl3. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Clear? Yeah, clear. Okay. Right. And. Uh, So this I hope is clear to you. Yes, yes. So what's the mechanism of this? Actually, if you take if you take H new, then you, what you get? Hmm. It should be in the dark, right? Okay. So what should be the what should be the product? If H new is Okay. Yeah, if you take if you take H new, if you take sunlight. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, then it will uh, put chlorine in every every carbon. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. That's that is not the that is addition reaction. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I won't... So that is addition reaction and uh, and that is benzene hexachloride. Yeah, benzene hexachloride. Okay, BHC. Yeah. Lignin, gamaxine. Where yeah. it is used? Uh, <laughs> Yeah, no, don't know. Yeah. Where it is used? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, it is used as an insecticide. Okay. Okay. Yes. And again, known as gamaxine or lignin. Okay. Right. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So this is so uh, yeah. So in mechanism, is it clear how how the yeah. Lewis acid breaks the Cl two and all? Yeah. And how? What what uh, are you are you familiar with the orientation reactivity? Uh, what what the orientation and reactivity? No no no. no. Uh, where where I'm going to put the suppose if I if I took H new I am going to put the uh, I'm going to do the photoallergenation of the alkyl part. But if I take some Lewis acid then I'm going to do the allergenation of the Aromatic part. Okay, is it clear? Oh. Okay. So this, pardon? Yeah, yeah, got it. Yeah. Clear. So I need to ask that uh, what should be the what what the name of this mechanism? First of all, tell me. 
this one is yeah uh, it's also SN2 no this is not SN2 no benzene you have another reactions uh, oh yeah electrophilic substitution okay This is electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction, EAS. Okay. Okay. Clear? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, and the, in the benzene, it is not a matter of concern where you put CO. Yeah, Everywhere yeah. it's going to be same. Same. Okay. Yes. But it is going to be a matter of concern if you have one group already attached. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So then the group which is already present is going to control the orientation and reactivity. Yeah. Okay. yeah the ortho and para. Yeah. 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 So methyl, that's what I wanted to know. So this methyl group is which directing? Oh, methyl. Methyl is electron. Yeah, electron withdrawing group. It is? Electron withdrawing group. No, no, electron donating, not electron donating. Okay, okay. Okay, so this yeah. is electron donating group. And then this is also better. Is it clear? Yeah, yeah, yes. So, what makes it ortho para? Uh, the negative charge in like ortho and para position. Hmm. Actually, what are the effects which are exerted by the this is the electron donating group and the yeah. You can write it like this. Okay. Yes, yes. Uh, so this is electrophilic aromatic substitution, not the nucleophilic. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yes. The other thing is. Uh, so how you are going to prepare so we will come again we will keep on coming at this reaction okay in different different chapters okay okay so yes. if you have an alkene how you are going to prepare alkyl elite from it hmm Yeah. Uh, by react by reacting with uh, HX. Yeah, reacting with HX. True. Yes. But this okay. is which type of reaction? Like this one is. Uh, And how the HBR is going to get added? Yeah, ho homolysis takes place. Pardon? A homolysis. Well, this is not homolysis because HBR is an acid. So it is going to get cleaved as H plus and Br minus. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes, sorry, sorry, yeah. So it's heterolysis, okay? Homolysis yeah, only in the presence of uh, sunlight. Okay, 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 that is yes. Okay. Yeah. 
So, what's going to be the answer? Major product. Yeah, I think here Martonica will is used, and Br will get attached to carbon with less hydrogen, the middle one. Yeah. And then uh, so it'll be CS three, CS Br, CS three. Yeah. Uh, here, yeah, can I can't see anywhere. How you are going to decide where the express is going to come in and where the uh, attach anywhere? Right? Both mm -hmm. are same. Attaching anywhere. No, 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 no. But anyway, the other groups which are present in the site, they are going to. Oh, okay. So now okay. And... Quality. Right? Uh, yeah. Tell me. Yeah, no, no idea. Yeah, where will the hydrogen go? Okay. Yeah, this this requires mechanism. So first okay. of all, you need to know this is an electrophilic addition reaction. This is addition reaction. Okay. Okay. So first H plus will approach the double bond. Okay. So there are two ways only by because double bond is present between the two carbon atoms. Yes. Yeah, so which one is more appropriate? Hmm. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. So actually this, suppose if H plus comes from this side, the ketan is going to appear at this position. Okay. Yeah. Yes. If the H plus comes on this side, the cation is going to cover another position. The lower cation is going. Yeah. To... Yes. Which cation do you think is more stable? Oh, okay, okay. Uh, the bottom one. No, the upper one is more stable. Oh, okay. Why? This is Why? This is benzylic cation. Yes, yeah, benzylic, yes. Okay. So, benzylic cation, it is resonance stabilized. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah, okay. So the cation can disperse at uh, different positions in the benzene because the benzene has pi electron clock. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yes, yes. So actually it will, it's electron density dispersed. So that's why it can form easily. It's a, it is having lower potential energy. 
on the other hand this one cannot go into the benzene because benzene is not next to it but next to next is it clear yes 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 so now tell me which one should i make as a major product yeah the major product will be phenyl ch uh yes yes we should have to pair we have ketan i will choose this copper ketan and there only i am going to direct my br minus to go and yeah. attach yes Is it clear? So this is going yes, to be the yes. answer. Okay. Right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So I hope you understood. This is very important. Yeah. I'm right. And there is also concept of rearrangement, which you need to keep in mind. Okay. while doing the marconi competition so actually this is marconi competition that you already know yeah right? so what's the actual statement of marconi competition statement uh, statement what's the statement of that marconi rule actual statement the negative part of the atom joined to the carbon is less number of hydrogen right? yeah but that's the overall that's the overall superficial Oh, okay. Okay. The actual is we're going to attach the H plus to the double doubly bonded carbons, and wherever you put H plus, the ketan is going to appear on the adjacent carbon. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So you are going to put H plus in a way such so that a more stable carbon ketan is formed. Oh, okay. Okay. Is it clear? And yes, that's yes. govern that's govern the whole course of the reaction. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And always remember, not only in this chapter, in all the chapter, yes. whenever yes. you have, uh, not for CBAC, for CBAC they don't give you much. Uh, okay. For, uh, for the competitive exams, J and and. Yeah. So whenever you have a cut ketan, always check whether there is a rearrangement which is going to happen or not. Okay, okay. So this next question is about the rearrangement only. Okay, so okay. It's going to be the answer. Okay, so X plus can yeah will attach uh, to the. The second carbon from the left leg. Pardon. The, so first of uh, all, decide where the H plus is going to come and join. So th yeah, the end is the last one. Right? Yeah, on the terminal. Yeah, terminal. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And you have a ketan in the middle. Yes. Yes. Now tell me. Yeah, then we are attached to the cation part. Br, yeah, will it come? Will the Br come and get connected to the cation? Yeah. But there is one more opportunity which is awaiting for the cation. So rearrangement. Yeah, and always you should check for rearrangement. Uh, okay. Yeah, but there is no double bond for any rearrangement. Right? But yeah, so rearrangement of the alkyl group can happen. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So now tell. So this is not going to be the answer. Okay. Okay. So how I'm going to proceed for the rearrangement? So this is secondary carbon. Okay. Yeah. 
then if the cation can come over here then it will become more stable it will become tertiary okay 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 right yes yes so how am i going to put the cat bring the cation over here this carbon is already connected to four bonds yeah that's right yeah. so if if the bond detaches then i'm going to shift one of the methyl group along with the electrons on that cation oh This is known as methyl shift. Very common. Lot of questions. Okay. Okay. All every time. Clear? Yeah. Okay. So methyl uh, methyl shift. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Then it yeah tertiary carbocation. Yeah. Yeah. It's a more stable carbocation, and this shift yes. is reinvented. It occurs very quickly in just ten to the power minus six. Oh, okay. okay. And it and so this so once the carbocation is rearranged, then it has become more stable. Then I'm going to bring in the final nucleus. Okay. 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 So that thing you should remember in all for all the chapters. Okay, not only for this. Yes. For all the reactions wherever you are under undergoing the reaction through carbocation mechanism. This is a general concept. Okay. I hope this is clear to you. Yeah, now it's clear. Yes. Okay. So, these are simple questions okay so for the first one yeah the hydrogen will attach to not the terminal one the one closer to aromatic no sorry sorry to the terminal like yes terminal yeah hydrogen will attach to the terminal. hydrogen will attach to the outer carbon and the br is going to come inside okay yeah And what about this one? Yeah, yeah. Hydrogen attached to the top. Uh, yeah. Yeah, and the other. So this is going to attach. Yeah. So the cation is going to form tertiary. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Ah, uh, for the second one, it's H I, right? So I should come. Yeah, sorry, H I. Yeah. Okay, so here, uh, okay, so phenyl is there. So yeah, it will hydrogen will attach to the the one where phenyl is not there, the like the upper one. Yeah, so why? The, Uh, so because uh, it will form a carbocation which is like resonance stabilized the bottom yeah, one yeah exactly 
and with this and this is not going to go anywhere else because it is already stable it is already having a support of finite yes now you are going to bring in the cl yeah right yes yes so this is the way by which the reaction is going to happen okay okay yeah, yeah. and uh, now for 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 hbr only among all hx only for hbr you have one more facility which you can avail that is anti marconic off yeah yes yeah, yeah. uh, addition of hbr that can also yeah. you do but how uh yeah peroxide uh catalyst needs to be there yeah what it is known as uh Uh, yeah, I forgot to do this. Yeah. So, what the name of that? Uh, Anti-marconic. Yeah. yeah Anti-marconic addition. And what it is? What are the other names? Oh, Karas effect and. Yeah, Karas. Uh, a peroxide effect. Yes. Peroxide effect. Yeah. So what does this mean, Karash and peroxide? Karash is the name of the scientist which studied peroxide. It happens in the presence of peroxide. Yes. Okay. So, are you clear with the mechanism? Uh, for anti-marconic. Yeah, how it happens? Uh, yeah, I think here. Uh, homolysis takes place. Yeah, and this is free radical addition. Okay, yes. Okay. And that too in the presence of peroxide. Actually, the presence of peroxide changed the course of reaction. Yes. Clear? Yeah, yeah. So, peroxide actually uh, changed uh, the reaction from from your uh, Markovnikov to anti Markovnikov from electrophilic addition reaction to uh, free radical addition reaction. Actually, which peroxide you choose? First of all, tell me. Like H two O two cannot be used. Yeah, H two O two R O O R or benzoyl peroxide right. also given. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So. Right. So. Yeah. So, which is the which is the intermediate which is formed in this? So mm -hmm. let's start with the first question.
Yeah. yeah. Uh, the third option. Answer is four. Oh, okay. Wait, but fourth and second option are same, right? No, the intermediates are, is, are different. Oh, okay. So what are the intermediates? Which is the intermediate? Just now I told you. So it is, it is actually, this peroxide only is responsible for changing the course of the reaction. Yeah, yeah. Uh, right? Yeah, yeah. So tell me. What's going to be this is the answer. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So why that plus sign is not there? The... Yeah, actually you need to know the mechanism. Actually, the light or heat breaks the peroxide. Yeah into two radicals. Okay. This is homolysis. Yeah. And the peroxide react with the HBr. Okay. Okay. Right? Yeah, yes. Okay. So then what happens? Then yeah, homolysis of HBr. Yeah, actually, what happens is the this is already, already having one electron. Yeah. So it affects H. Will it upset H plus or H minus or H radical? H radical. H radical, and it, you are left with. Yeah, R H. B R radical. Oh, okay. 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 And then how this VR radical is going to approach the double bond? So the double bond already has yes two electrons. So it'll form. Yeah. A lone pair will go to one of the carbon and. Yeah, actually, so. BR will attach on a double bond in a way such that a more stable radical is formed. Yes. So secondary radicals are more stable. So BR is going to attach itself to the terminal carbon. Yeah, left hand side. Okay. Yeah. Clear? Yes, yes, sir. Okay. So that's why the you have this. Okay. Now this will again abstract H from HBr and you another Br radical is left. Right? Okay, yeah. Yes, yes. And that's how the reaction is going to happen. Ah, okay. I hope it is clear to you. Uh, wait, so how H gets attached, how uh to the middle. It's actually what happens is this is a chain mechanism. Okay. Okay. Uh, what they do is this this will again attack HBr. So initially peroxide helped uh, attack uh, in generation of Br radicals. Okay. Yeah. Yes. But later BR radicals, so that is only the chain initiation. So that's not going to happen every time. Yeah. 
So once we once you have that carbon radical, that will attack HBr again, and it will abstract H radical, and you are left with Br radical. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. Now that new Br radical is going to search again new alkene. Okay. Okay, and that's how it is going to happen again and again and again. Okay. 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 Is it clear? Yeah, okay, clear. So that's how it's going to happen. Yes. So this is the intermediate. But what is the reason that only HPR? Why not HF, HCL, and HI? Um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. What's the problem with those? Hmm. Tell me. They can't form radical. Pardon? They ca cannot form radical, free radical. Actually, yeah, something related to that. What happens is hmm. the HF and HCl bond are strong enough to be cleaved yes. in a homolytic manner. So they are going to join themselves in a way they were doing without it or uh, without peroxide or in the presence of peroxide, then their mode of addition is not going to get affected. That's all. Okay. HI, uh, so H, they, their bond was strong. Okay. So that is the reason because they are smaller and that is the reason. Yeah. 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 Your peroxide can't affect their way of cleavage or the way in which yes. they are cleaving, getting cleaved. Okay. okay. So that's what the thing is. But with HI, HI bond is weaker. That we yeah, know. Weaker. Yes, yes. Why it is weaker? Why? The size of I is very big. Yeah, the size of uh, I is very big. Yeah, HI is very fragile. Yeah. Right. Okay. So, yeah. So, if HI can, so it can break very easily and it can form I radical. Yeah. But then, why the HI is not giving you the, if it is, it can form I radical very easily, then why the HI is not uh, uh, breaking? Mm -hmm. Uh, and giving that uh, anti marconic addition. Tell me. Yeah, I, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I hope you understood my. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. But I, that H, I don't know why HI cannot uh, do anti marconic. Yeah, actually, I I radicals form very easily. Yeah, but the, then it should work. Yeah, it should work. But actually, what happens is I radical is too big. The electron is uh, on I radical, and I radical being too too big, it's too stable, oh. and it's not going to attack. That's the problem. Okay. Because the, if the electron is on a very big big large atom. It will it oh. will not have any tendency to go and attack on anyone. It is going to stay as it is in a relaxed way. Oh, okay. Yeah, so God. what will happen? So what is going to happen? Nothing is going to happen. Even if yeah. you had, even if you had uh, the I radical, but I radical was not able to do anything. Yes. Okay. Right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So this is very, very important. And it has been asked in different, different manner in sentence wise. Okay. Many times. Okay. So there's a, there was a question in JE. Mm -hmm. And this is asked at many places.
What is the intermediate? Yeah, here, yeah, CH3, uh, CH, CH2, CL. Oh, wait, but CL cannot. Yeah, it yeah, be, mark on be, be careful. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. No, option number two. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yes. So just many of us uh, see peroxide and we think that, oh, it's peroxide. So it's a free radical addition. And it's yeah, anti Marconi yeah. competition when we started all sorts of stuff and we get confused. Yes, yes. yes. So, if it is HCl, HF, or HI, hmm. peroxide is not going to do anything to them. Yeah. yeah. That's the thing. Okay. okay. Yes. And you are going to, so HCl, how it is used to add H plus and Cl minus. So, H plus being a, an electrophile and double bond is electron rich. So, H plus is going yeah. to come and join to the double bond. Okay. Yes. Right, so that's how it is going to happen. Clear? Okay, yeah, I got that. So I hope it is clear. Yeah. So keep yeah. these things in mind. Actually, they are very, very, very important. Okay. Okay, so just go to which book you are following. You can follow more book, uh, more questions. Do more questions related to this topic. Okay. okay. So you will be continuing with JE and we will, uh, so I will tell you the key points where the, I'm assuming uh, that you know the basic mechanism and you know, in fact, okay, so, uh, but wherever uh, there's some uh, little bit more is required, I will, you can ask me and, or I will give from 